So this weird Higgs field is an essential part of the standard model of particle physics. But is it true? Is it really there? Is this room filled with it? Well, we don't know the answer. Why don't we know the answer? Because we haven't discovered it yet. That is what those guys, those particle guys, in this accelerator are trying to do. They want to see whether or not the Higgs field really exists or not. This is why there's so much excitement. See, there's a 15-mile long tunnel here. They accelerate electrons in one way and positrons the other way, and they smash them together at these, these stations here. And they are trying to form a ripple in the Higgs field, because the standard model says if the Higgs field exists, then you can form a ripple of it in it. Just like if you have water, you can form a water ripple. Okay? Uh, Faraday and Maxwell showed that you could make a ripple in the electromagnetic field, and that actually is called a radio wave or a light wave. And in fact, it, since it's a quantum field, the ripples are quantized, and we call them photons. And that's what's filling this room, photons. The same thing happens with the Higgs field. You make a ripple in it, and that's called a Higgs boson. So the search here is for the Higgs boson. That's what they want to do. Okay? So for the last decade, then, people have finding the Higgs boson has been the absolute obsession of particle experimentalists. They've tried for 10 years. And they haven't found it here. Now, they don't know. It's a quantum field theory. The size of the quantum isn't known for the Higgs field. So they started making little ones and didn't find them. So by now, we know that if Higgs bosons exist, they have to have a mass 100 times that of the proton. Okay? That's the limit of this accelerator. It can't really reach it. So Higgs particles, bosons, ripples are very difficult to make and to detect for a couple of reasons. First, it takes a lot of energy to do it. And you need a big smasher like that. Okay. Second, it's hard to get the energy into the ripple of the Higgs field. It's much more likely to ripple the quark fields and make quark particles. Okay? Third, when you finally do create a Higgs boson, a Higgs ripple, it almost immediately decays into normal stuff like bottom quarks. quarks. So then you have the debris and you have to reconstruct, was there a Higgs boson created or not? So that's why it's been taken so long. Okay? And it also takes a lot of events to do it. So the story happens. Ten years in, world's most powerful accelerator had been cranked to its max and hadn't found any Higgs bosons. Okay? So they decided, OK, what we've got to do is take out this electron-positron collider, use the same tunnel, and put protons and antiprotons in, which will give us a 20 times more powerful smasher, 20 times more easier, easier to create Higgs bosons. So they decided to do this, and they were going to schedule to shut down last September. Okay? In July. Something happened. This experiment here, the Aleph collaborator, this is what happens, by the way. They smash those things together. This is the two pieces of the Aleph detector. The electrons come one way, and the uh, positrons come the other way. And these things go together. There's people to show you how big this thing is. Um, <coughs> okay. they, all the debris comes out into these things, and then they try to reconstruct what happened and say, was a Higgs boson? Was it a ripple in the Higgs field or not that was created? Okay. So these guys at Aleph announced to the world that they had three or four possible Higgs candidates. Well, this caused amazing excitement. You know, Ten years, people have been looking. Now we've got it. Now, they were scheduled to shut down in September. So the management said, OK, run for another month. Okay? So they ran for another month. Actually, I wanted to show you. Here's what they saw, one of the things they saw. This is a picture of that same uh, detector you know, in and out of the board as a smashing. And this is the debris and the different colors of the jets that came out of it. And this is very likely to have been the debris by carefully analyzing the energy and momentum. It's very likely to be the debris from a Higgs boson. There are other possibilities, though, unfortunately. And so you have to have lots of these. They're unlikely. So you have to have lots of these to prove that you have a Higgs boson. Okay. So they let them run a another month. And then they found some more. And in fact, Jim Branson, a professor here at UCSD, he is running one of the other not running, but working on one of the other detectors, they also found some possible Higgs candidates. So it's looking very tantalizing. So they say, OK, run another month. Now, they've cranked this thing to the max, because its, it's lifetime is about up. right? They're running it way past the red line. Okay? This thing's about ready to pop. They have contractors paid for standing outside the tunnel saying, you know, we've got to dig this thing out and put in the new one. It's costing hundreds of thousands of dollars a day to delay. You know? And so they run for another month. And again, you know, they're finding the, this signal for the Higgs, but it's not sure. So they make the decision. They say, you know what? 
Let's go ahead with our plan. Let's put in the more powerful machine. That will prove it for sure. Okay? So they shut the thing down in December. Okay? It happened last year. You know, big disappointment to people like myself who would love to know. But because, well, the reason there's a disappointment, it's going to take five years for the new machine to be ready to run okay, and giving data. So we're sitting here with nothing to do for five years, right? <laughs> Except it does actually give a chance to some US people at Fermilab. They have built the, uh, um, the, at Fermilab a proton, anti proton collider. It's only about three, four miles around. It's not as powerful as the new one's going to be, but it started this month. So, hey, maybe the US can take back the lead in particle physics and find something. The problem, of course, is that this is not as powerful a machine. It's going to take them three or four years to get enough data to maybe see those same Higgses. So again, we are basically in suspended animation for the next four years or so when it comes to the Higgs boson. That's too bad. <laughs>